ஹரே கிருஷ்ணா ஹாய் எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் In this video, we are going to implement a Java program to find the reverse of a string. Let's take an example of a string Java. Original string is Java having the index 0, 1, 2, 3. We take each value from the last index, store it into a first index of a reverse string. We keep repeating this until we find the reverse of a string. Let's practically implement the program. First, we'll add a main method. We'll take a string from the user by using a scanner class. For that, we'll create an object of the scanner class. Scanner is C, new scanner of system that in. We'll import the scanner class from Java util package. Now, we use the next line method from the scanner class, which reads the entire string or a statement entered by a user. And we store that value into the variable string str. Once we have the string, we don't need that scanner class object anymore. Let's close it. sc.close. Now we have a string entered from the user. Let's add the core logic which perform the reverse of a string. For that, we'll add a for loop int i string.length minus 1. i is greater than 0, i minus minus. We will create a new variable reverse string which holds the value which is reversed in a for loop. A reverse string is equal to reverse string plus original string str dot character at i. Either we can use character at i which will take each and every element from the string or we can convert string into the character array then we can loop it. We can also replace this statement with reverse string plus equal to string dot character at i. That's it. We have the reverse string. Print the reverse string to the console. Reverse of a string is plus reverse string. Now let's run the program. Enter a string Java program. You can see that string is reversed. Let's debug the program. Enter the string Java program. Now the control of the program is reached for loop. We can see that string is having the value java program which we entered in the console string now first time i is having the value string dot length of minus 1 string dot length here this string is 12 12 minus 1 is 11 so value at the index 11 is m we will take that value and we add it into a reverse string. Now reverse string is having the value m. Now is i is decremented by 1. Now i is equal to 10. Character at 10 is a. You see it here carefully. Character at 10 is a. Perfect. Now add that value to the reverse string. M A. Next time i is again decremented by 1. Now i is having the value 9. What is the value at character 9? The index 9 is having R. We add that R to the reverse string. The reverse string now will having a M A R. Similarly, we will keep repeating this loop till condition where i is greater than 0. Now once i is reached the 0, loop is terminated, we print that reverse string to the console. 
Now let's go ahead and implement the same program in a different way. This time, instead of using the character at method, we convert string into a character array. Character character array. is equal to string dot to char array now we follow the same logic we declare the for loop we'll take the value i is equal to string dot length minus one and we repeat till i is greater than zero i minus minus only small change here is instead of using string dot character at i we are directly using the character array array of i we directly print that output to the console system.out.println so let's run the program enter the string java program reverse of a string is printed to the console now implement the reverse of a string using a string buffer class in the java for that we need to create an object of a string buffer. String buffer SB is new string buffer of string. We pass the original string as an argument. Now SB is holding the value of a original string. We use the method inbuilt method in a string buffer called reverse. Then sp.reverse will give a reverse of a string. We directly print that output to the console using a system.out.println. Let's run the program Java interview reverse of a string is printed to the console all the three approaches are working fine you can follow any approach but in interview interviewers will not be interested in a inbuilt methods so don't follow the approach three either you can write approach one or approach two make sure you use the proper naming conventions for a class methods variables while writing a program so we make sure that the program is self explanatory and we don't have to explicitly add a comment to explain each and every line of the program thanks for watching